Let's crash Bandicoot! Hey, 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 everybody, welcome to GK Plays. I'm your host, GK, and we're going to be playing Cortex Strikes Back Crash Bandicoot number two. Um, one of the first videos I ever did was Crash Bandicoot one on, uh, in fact, it was the first Let's Play I did on this channel, and I never went back and did uh, two or three. So I'm not doing, making any promises to do three, but I am definitely going to be doing two. Let's crack on. We will overwrite the save, because this is going to be a brand new game. And let's watch the opening cutscene, and let's crack on. And I'm also going to turn my phone down to silent. There we go. <laughs> Crystals, of course. No. <laughs> but Doctor Cortex, to reach full power, we need not only your master crystal, but also the remaining twenty-five slave crystals from the surface. How do you expect to retrieve them when we don't have any Earthbound operatives left? You fool! Do you think I'm unaware of the situation? If we don't have any friends left on the surface, then we'll need to find an enemy. Crash! 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 My battery is fried! Make yourself useful, big brother, and bring an extra battery for me. Sweet. So, this is the uh, introductory level. Um, yeah, so Crash Bandicoot 2. I, I love Crash Bandicoot, uh, even though the second game was my least favourite of them all. Um, I still love the remaster, so I thought, you know what? I was sat at home, doing nothing. I fancy playing this game. So why not? So if you've never played a Crash Bandicoot game before, or you've never even seen a Crash Bandicoot game before, I'd love to know what rock you've been hiding under. But basically, it's a 3D platformer. Um, you collect stuff, and there is a story involved. Whoa, 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 what? We're going to a warp room. Fantastic. Let's see what happens. If it isn't Crash Bandicoot, welcome. I apologize for the crude means used to bring you here, but I'd rather expect a written invitation would have been turned down. I need your help. Surrounding you are a series of five doors. Through each door lies a well-hidden crystal. The crystals look like this. Bring me the crystals, Crash. That is all I will say for now. We will speak again. So that character is Dr. Nefarious Cortex. Um, basically, he was our enemy in the last game, and for some reason, he wants us to get the crystals for him. So basically, this is what your opening level will look like. You have five doors. Uh, technically, there's six, but more on that later. Uh, each door has a crystal, a gem, and a relic, and sometimes extras too. Uh, we're not going to be going for the relics, because I am no speedrunner, but we will be going for the gems and the crystals, if possible. So, let's start with Turtle Woods. This is the very first level. You don't have to do the levels in a specific order. You, you know, they generally do get harder, but you don't have to do them in a specific order. Um, okay, so there was a hint at the start there saying, be kind to boxes for a special gem. Now, initially, you want to go through the level and break every single box. Uh, generally, that will get you uh, a clear gem. Some levels, like this one, have special gems. 
And if you, with this level, if you go through it and you um, don't break any boxes, you get a special gem. Now, most levels, we won't have to replay more than once because, obviously, uh, most... I'm not going to grab that mask just yet. Most levels, I'll be able to get everything in one go. So, body slam this. And away we go. Now, this is a little secret area. The game is full of these. Stomp on you. Stomp on you. Get that at the checkpoint. Slide jump over there. Oh, hello. Right, okay. Let's grab you. Oh, that was lucky. Um, that was even luckier. Oh, they jump. Of course they do. We'll grab you. Now, this is where it can get tricky, because those ostrich things will dive the second you uh, jump on their back. So you've got to be quick. Like that. Otherwise, you can miss those boxes. They never get back up, so you have to exit the level and come back in, which is a pain in the ass. And it's caused me to rage quit a few times. Uh, that green box, if you're not aware, there were those nitro boxes back there. That explodes them all. You do need to get that to be able to uh, complete the level uh, with 100% boxes, which is, again, a pain in the ass. Aha! A bonus! Okay, what in every level, or most levels anyway. No enemies, just annoying uh, obstacles. But it's a good opportunity to get boxes, apple, uh, not apples, wumper fruit. Let's use the proper name for it. And lives. That was stupendously easy. Believe me, bonuses get harder. Much harder much harder. Okay. Oh yeah, these masks, I haven't explained these yet, so if you don't know what they are... Uh, I'll try and clear that every time. Basically, they act as like hit points. This is uh, Uka Uka. Uh, who, uh, is it Uka Uka or is it Aku Aku? I can't remember who the evil one is. There's a good one, there's a bad one. Uh, I can't remember exactly which one's which. Sneaky box. Um, basically, uh, you get one, you can take one hit. You get two, you can take two hits. Get three, and you become invincible for about ten seconds, which is awesome. Um... However, being invincible also changes Crash's speed, and it also changes his jump distance. Which means in certain levels, it can be actually more of a deterrent, because it doesn't save you from pitfalls and certain traps. So, you've got to be careful. So, as you can see, we've got every single box. We've got the crystal, and that means this should turn into a gem. Woo! Aww. Sweet, back we go. Now, I'm going to go back into the level because obviously we want to get the special gem, if possible, by... Okay, yeah, that's one way of doing it, Crash. You know, you can pull it out of your ass. And we get Crash's funky little dance. Oh. Well done, Crash. I knew I could rely on you. Now listen carefully. These holograms are hard to maintain. During the course of my intellectual pursuits, I have stumbled across a force that threatens to destroy the world. The crystals are the only means of containing it. The fate of the world is at stake. It is imperative, therefore, that you bring them to me. It's getting kind of creepy. Well, that was intense. Um, <laughs> uh, 
Um, so when you re-enter a level, you can uh, do um, a time trial, which is cool. Uh, basically, that's how you get the radics. I'm not going to be doing that in this Let's Play, uh, only because I am terrible at them. Also, there is a power-up at the end of the um, game, which actually makes them slightly easier. So if you do want to see me do the radics later, I will happily do so uh, once I've got the uh, speed boots. So, Cortex wants us to get these crystals to save the world. I don't think he's being completely truthful. Uh, but, my first uh, comment to that would be, get him yourself, you lazy ass. But, you know, it is what it is. As always, guys, I really do hope you enjoyed this Let's Play. Uh, if you are enjoying it, hit smash that like button and um, hit me up in the comments. Uh, if you are wanting to see anything specific, just let me know. Uh, but the more likes this video gets, the more likely I am to continue. Um, so if you want to see more, you know what to do. Again, you'll notice I'm not smashing any boxes at all. That is because, obviously, I want that special gem. And, uh, like I said, it can be quite tricky going through a whole level without breaking some boxes. Uh... Now, I'm not overly sure why Crash 2 was my uh, was my least favourite game. But, uh, if for some reason, it just was. I still love it. It's just... There we go. So this is the blue gem. So these coloured gems are one of a kind. You can only get five. I think there's only five of them. And they all require something special to do. Uh, usually my first red uh, one is the red gem. Because uh, it's fairly easy to get. But uh... Crash, stop putting sharp objects up your ass. It's quite disturbing. Cortex gathered crystals. Yet you have acquired a gem. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> well, Crash, <laughs> know this. As long as you are allied with Cortex, you are my sworn enemy, and I will do anything in my power to stop you. <laughs> if the fate of the world is truly your concern, you must be gather the gems, not the crystals. If you obtain all 42 gems, I can use them to f f focus a laser. Ah, yes, a laser beam that will destroy Cortex and the space station he has created. Until then, I must use my forces to stop you from gathering crystals. <laughs> Okay, so that was interesting. We're going to enter the next level, Snow Go, and I'm going to talk about that um, spectacle. So uh, that was Dr. Brio. Uh, he is actually one of uh, Cortex's henchmen. In the first game, if you remember, he was actually a boss fight. Uh, we're in the snow, we're in the snow. TNT, jump on them. Harugaga! Let's go. This is your invincibility. So, where was I? Oh, yes, Brio. Uh, so, if you remember, he was an enemy in the original. And uh, in this one, it seems he is here to stop Cortex um, from X nefarious plans. Now, we will be collecting pretty much all the gems anyway, so we're going to do that on the way. But uh, yeah, and Rio's a psycho. Um, did you see that mouth elongation? It was pretty mental. Right, these things, I hate them. They do that. Uh, step under them, that's what they do. You can either trigger them like that, or you can just slide under them. It's completely up to you. Sliding's a little bit more dangerous, but it's a damn lot quicker. And you'll notice there's a red gem up there. We can't get that just yet, though. Tree trunks! So, unlike the first game, uh, which took place in a couple of locations, uh, but not, like, tons of locations... This game explores uh, a little bit more. Also, I should probably explain, um, the female Bandicoot is uh, Coco, that is Crash's sister. And that's a bonus failed. 
Uh, we don't actually meet her until this game, so... Uh, I don't know why I do that. It's so sadistic. Um, but yeah. And basically, as I said before, if you've never played Crash before, Crash is basically a genetic experiment gone wrong at the hands of Mr. Cortex, who is the yellow-headed dude. Uh... Yeah, that, that's pretty much it, really. The story is not, uh, you know, Final Fantasy level storytelling, but uh, it's pretty, it's, it's pretty cool. Or, 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 a Ruby guy. These snow levels are really cool. Penguin. So, Cortex said at the start that the crystals would be well hidden, they're generally not that well hidden. You can generally find them quite easily. Um, pretty sure... There we go. I don't think I had to do that, but... Eh. Okay. 74 out of 74. Now, there are going to be some levels you cannot 100% until you have completed other tasks. There are things like death routes involved. There are uh, sub routes. There are other paths. Threat levels like snow go. You have to actually wait till later so you can get the red gem out of it. You get the idea. So now he's throwing things up and pulling him out of his ass. Wonderful. Let's do Hang 8. This is one of my favourite level designs. Uh, these are cool. It's very much like, um, sort of, surf's up, dude. Now, pretty much all of this level design have some form of secret in them, which is, uh, obviously... Awesome. Now you might have noticed a timer. We're going to ignore that timer for now. We are going to be replaying this level again to get that timer back. Basically, this is another level where um, you can uh, get a special gem. And if you complete the level in that time, very tricky let me tell you, you get the special gem. Now, the first run through is going to be primarily for the crystal and the clear gem, because that's the uh, main thing I want. Awesome. And then I'm going to come back in. Basically, uh, a lot of the color, or two of the color gems are actually in this area, so um, they make it quite hard from the get go. But uh, it adds a ton of replayability if you're just going through getting the crystals and just the normal gems. It adds a ton of replayability when you come back to it and uh, try and get all the coloured gems. Because they are quite hard to get. Now that is the blue gem path. Now I'm wondering, I think I do need to go on it. Basically, you're going to... I know there's a lot of uh, talking in this one, sorry. Yeah, you do need to go through this. Okay. So basically, in some levels, you will find... A gem platform. You need to have the colour gem of that platform colour to access it. And this is one of those levels you cannot actually 100% until you've got the blue gem. Thankfully, you can get the blue gem in the first level. As you can see, there are a ton of boxes hidden here. Generally speaking, these areas will be much harder. So be aware of that. Okay. Okay, we've got another jet ski area. And it looks like we're going to have to come back. So I'm not going to worry too much about getting the boxes there. Cool. Now, there wasn't any nitro that I remember seeing. So let's just make our way back. No, nope, that's cool. We're back at the jet ski. That's awesome. I love his face when he uh, activates the turbo. It's just mental. Yeah, see, there's a lot of boxes here. We'd have missed without that blue gem. No, crash. Up the jets. Up the turbo pad. Thank you. 
And there's a nitro button here. And then this one should take us back to where we were. One would hope. We've done the bonus in this level, haven't we? Yes, we have. Yeah, so we're back to where we were. Sweet. So we should now be able to complete the level. Oh, and then he didn't make that. Got by with the tip of my toes. Cool. Whirlpools. They're good fun. Just boost through them. It's a, they're a pain in the backside. Like everything in this game. They are one of the few things in this game that a mask cannot save you from. Bye-bye. Oh, hello. It didn't load for some reason. It was quite funny. So that's 74 out of 74. Okay, guys, I'm going to be doing some long episodes of this because uh, I don't want this to be a super long um, Let's Play like Final Fantasy was or The Secret of Mana. I want this to be a sort of quick, quick one for you guys. Three crystals. Not bad. Better than you did. The hang of it. I need to conserve power. I will communicate with you again after you retrieve the fifth crystal. Right, let's go back in and try and do that level again for the uh, do, 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 the special gem. Now this might be quite hard without the speed boots, but I'm going to try it. It isn't impossible because it it was possible in the original, and you didn't get speed boots in the original. So, definitely want to get as many masks as possible so that I can sort of blast through the game below you. And you literally want to be going as fast as possible because that time limit is tight as anything. I've literally been known to get to the end, been approaching the gem, and they took it off me. Ah, balls! That sucks. Uh, I'm going to have to quit the level. Uh, I've been known to be literally... When you go to the warp room and you're diving down, uh, dry, uh, running down to get it, um, I literally, I've literally been a second away from it, and they have took it away from me because I didn't quite hit the timer. Because that timer continues until you hit the gem. So, yeah, pain in the ass. Uh, that's my f that's going to be my saying throughout this Let's Play, I think. Um, pain in the ass. That's going to be my... Uh, that and just general raging. Uh, because this this game is hard. Uh, me and my wife were playing this a little while back. And, um, yeah, this, this is a bloody hard game. <laughs> right, again, fast as possible. I'm actually not going to get... The next checkpoint and see if I can activate the timer again. Bye, goodbye, on a time limit. Oof. We ain't far off, so we might actually get it done. Like I said, it's not impossible. Not by a long shot. No, shouldn't have done that. I'm wasted. 20 seconds. That should be doable. Come on, guys. Let's do it. Let's do it. 15 seconds. There's the gem. Bang. Woo! I actually think it's just a clear gem. I think it's just a secondary clear gem. I don't think it's a colored gem. That was actually quite easy. I thought it was going to be a lot harder than that. Maybe the time limit in the original was, was shorter for some reason. I don't know. Yeah, it's just a clear gem. Nothing too spectacular. Thank you, Crash. Sweet the pits. Now, this is the second jungle-style level that we've seen um, in this uh, area. Break lock boxes with a well-aimed body slam. Now, we've already seen the body slam, and we already know how much it hurts him, so... <laughs> it doesn't hurt him that much. 53 boxes. Oh, and an invincibility straight away. Nice, nice, nice. This should be useful. Okay, 
this level, if memory serves, actually has a little trick to it. Oh, we're going to get another one. We're not going to hear this level soundtrack at this, right? <laughs> so you want to go left first. I think. Definitely want to kill all the enemies, because you might have to come through about here again. Yeah, you want to come through here first. So that box won't make much sense at the moment. That uh, exclamation point. But uh, I'll explain more soon. Now, like I said, you want to get rid of all the enemies because you're going to have to come back through here. Okay. So now, it might seem mental, but you've got to come through this area backwards. Now, obviously, if you've killed everything, that'll be a lot easier. Just be careful of holes. Because a hole will see you go back to a checkpoint, which means you've got to do the front bit first and then do the back bit again. Now, the reason we're doing this is because there are some boxes on the right-hand path that are wireframe, and that's why you need to go this way first. There we go. Oof, nearly. Always better to do the slide jump, I think, because you're more likely to clear the gap. Right, let's try not to die, because that'll be highly annoying. Double turtle flip! Single turtle flip! How is it not going through the floor? And how have they got razor blades? Cortex is one sick mother! It's just... Wow. Right, these are the boxes you're talking about. Those two are fine, but these four. They've got two lives here and a lot of Wumper, so you want to get those. And I, you know, generally just want to get them anyway, because, you know... Screw you, big bird! What do you think you're doing, crashing into people? It's not nice. Now, nah, this is where the level gets its namesake from. It's more of these pit areas. And they're a bit harder than last time. Bonus! I don't know why I body slam it. You don't need to. Now, these are reinforced crates. You can't actually break them just by jumping on them. You have to uh, body slam them, as I said in the hint. So slow. Now, this is hard. So, one. Uh oh. Basically, those crates break. If you jump on them once, and then jump off and then jump back on, they'll break instantly. You don't want that happening. So, the best thing to do is try and hit the middle one. Because you need to come back off here. So slow. Okay. And then off. Because you need to go back up there and then back. Because there's some wireframe boxes up there. So we can only guess there's going to be an exclamation point box there. Sweet. So. Ah! The rage is real and it's begun already. Now, luckily, you don't actually lose lives when you fail a bonus. You can just go straight back in and try it again. Uh, which is interesting. Nice. Woo. He flew straight off the end there. See what I mean? So now we're going to use that box to get back. Crash, just hit it. Thank you. Had enough of your ball. There we go. What are you worried about? <laughs> Sweet. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Boing. And that should be that. You're in my way. You're in my way. Turtle flip. Mole spin. I think they're moles. 
Who knows? Who cares? It's a Crash Bandicoot game. Oh. This is that level complete. Do, 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 do. Right. The last level is Crash Dash. And this brings a uh, new element to our adventure. Thank you, Crash. So in this level, well, I'll let you see, but... Um, it's either going to help me move faster. Indeed it can. Now you will notice there is no door. So what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? We go backwards. Love, love, love the soundtrack for this. Ah! Dun, dun, dun. Oh, by the way, yeah, those mines, they don't kill you. They're quite sadistic, actually, because they don't actually kill you. They're sadistic enough to slow you down so that the boulder can kill you. You know, because that's normal. Now, in most cases, where the boulder is rolling, uh, they will actually collect any boxes for you. You won't get any wumper or lives from them, but you will get them added to your counter. However, in these areas, you need to collect them, so it's just generally a good habit to get them yourself. That's my first proper death. All because I was sliding. The wonderful thing about getting relics uh, in the time trials is actually the fact that um, you have to do the level in one run. There's no checkpoints at all. Um, which is, you know, ultra hilarious. Right, that's going to go down there. And then we get a bonus. Wicked! I say my rage meter. I'm literally just about to say my rage meter was only about one out of ten at the moment, but upgrade the rage meter. We'll start every every session with a, a zero rage meter and see how we get on. <laughs> I hate doing those. It makes me so nervous. Three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Bonus complete! And that's a guaranteed extra life on the Wumper as well. We got over 100 Wumper there. Oh, speed pads! Yay! All we need to make our lives more complicated. I thought I went too far, so I went backwards. See? Yeah, they got a nasty habit of doing that. They'll give you a speed boost, and then they'll ram you straight into a mine. It's only the fifth level. Come on, I shouldn't be losing lives here. In fairness, though, this is the game I have the least amount of experience with as well. So, I mean, I used to play it all the time as a kid, but... I, uh, I have the least amount of experience with this game. And it's showing upgrade the rage meter to three. Literally, first episode, and we're already, like, almost a third of the... Well, we are a third of the way through the rage meter. Oh, by the way, it may well regularly exceed 10, so don't, so don't be too... Um, <laughs> don't worry, you will definitely get to see the Rage Meter increase over time. Yeah, I wasn't going to risk another death. 44 out of 44, wicked! So we've completed five doors, so what's next, you ask? Well, before, I mentioned a sixth door, but it doesn't become available to you until you have collected five crystals from the room you're in. <laughs> Thank you. So, this door now becomes accessible to you. This is Ripper Roo. This is your first boss fight. Uh, Ripper Roo is another experiment of Cortex's, actually. Um, he is, um, well, you can see he's a dog, but, you know, somewhat special dog. 
<laughs> yes, this is a um, psychologically challenged uh, canine that um, wears a straight jacket. However, in this in this game, he's a lot smarter. He's got a degree this time. Now, as you can see, he's hopping around the, the um, battlefield? Question uh, mark. Basically, first thing he does is the TNT. Then he does it the same thing. He does it the la 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 la. The same thing with Nitro. The Nitro will knock him down, and then you just spit him. It's fairly straightforward. You know, you screw up a sentence so much that you just like. <laughs> A bit um, unhinged. <laughs> Interestingly, though, this is the same arena you fight with in the first game as well. Hey, at least he's got his degree now. He's happy. Now, this one. He literally covers like 90% of it in Nitro, so you got to be careful. That is Ripperoo dealt with. <laughs> oh, I love him. Absolutely love him. Coolio. Sweet. So that's this world complete. Before we move on to the next world, uh, I just want to say thank you for joining us for Crash Bandicoot 2. Um, I'm having a blast with it. Um, this is not going to be like a main let's play. Like I said, this is going to be like a side thing where I, I'll do an episode every so often. Uh, but if you do want to see more of it more often, give this give this video a like, comment, let me know that you want to see more of Crash Bandicoot 2. Uh, as you can see, he is pointing up. We'll do that in the next episode. So, I will see you in the next one, guys. Thank you very much indeed, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Take care, and bye for now.